it's going to be an amazing matchup, as you said. You know, Victor coming in the game 0-2, not very indicative of, of how good they are. They went down to New Jersey to play perennial powerhouse Don Bosco Prep, lost that game 11-2, then went to Section 1 and took on Rye. They lost that game 9-4. to But again, going to be a great matchup, and I can't wait. Same thing goes with Canandaigua as well. Victor got number two, Jack Herrington, down in the attack. He'll be playing college lacrosse at Cornell. Uh, he's a great player. I think he ended last year with 84 points. You know, I think Dom Glaze is going to have the matchup right there, number 21, and that is just going to be a great matchup, matchup to watch down there. At the faceoff X starter, we have number 32, Mason Depew, and number six, JT Ricky. Ref's about to get underway, waiting on a whistle. Ball, ball out. Picked up by number 14 for Victor, Oliver Powell. Number one. Number 29, goalie, Parker Irwin advances as he gets it up to number 24, JT Workmeister. Workmeister gets it into Kyler Sager. He's got Will Rude on him. That's another good matchup. Sager going to Jacksonville and number 27, Will Rude, going to Loyola. I agree. As Radogna gets it up to Kate Scales and he gets it down to Vsaw. Radogna carries at the top. Kamela guarding them tightly. Great defense by number 23, Trey Camella. That is a goal. Number 25, Brody Secker. Brody Secker, he's just a junior, but he'll be playing college across at Binghamton. Again, Victor is absolutely loaded with these guys. Committed Division I everything. Victor starts off 2-0 and with the faceoff X. JT Ricky starting off hot as Kyle Sager carries Rude at the bottom. Here's the matchup we're here to watch, folks. Dom Galassi on number two, Jack Herrington. Caden Galassi on number 15, Tanner Radogna. Great move by Radogna. Good slide by number 11, Andrew Murphy. Galassi gets caught lunging again. Ball hits post. Goalie for Canada with Jackson Tucker. Just saved by the post there. Shot goes wide by number 15, Radogna. Victor getting a lot of good looks here, wouldn't you say? Radogna carries at the top, guarded by Caden Galassi, just a sophomore there. Number seven, Kyle Sager carries down. Double comes, ball on the ground, picked up by number 27, Will Root, as he pushes in transition. He tries to get a touch in the box, there's a flag down. Ball's down, he picks it back up, and Canandaigua looks to slow down the offense. Great pass by number five, Mikey Bellis, over to Drew Willamy. 
Great defense by number 24, JT Workmeister on Willoughby. That's another great matchup for today. Ken Dayward can settle the ball now since there's a flag down. Number two, Braden Giuseppe, guarded tightly by number 16, Matthew Langan. Langan just a sophomore. 19, Ryan Bremer carries his man to X. That's number 14, Oliver Collar. Great look over to Mikey Pellison. That's a goal. Amazing look by number 19, Ryan Bremer as well. He'll get the assist today. That is his third of the season, fourth point. I believe that is Mikey Bellis' eighth goal on the year. Canada has got to keep that going if they want to stay in this game. I mean, once Victor gets going, it's hard to stop him. But Canada gets possession, holds the ball. If they move off ball, a lot of goals will be coming their way. New faceoff kid in for Victor. That is number 10. Eli, Ricky, he is in eighth grade. That is, you don't see that often, especially at Victor. Rude gets a touch in. That's number three, Alex Rude. And DePew gets on the board today. The matchup we got down low, great matchup to watch. Number 24, JT Workmeister. He's committed to Bryant. He's guarding the Canandaigua points leader. Number 12, Drew Willoughby. Oh. <laughs> Parker Irwin, that's a great save there. Willoughby just got a little bit of breathing room. The ball is down. Mikey Bellis picks it up. Ovana carries it in. Great save. Another save by Parker Irwin. He has really brought his A game so far today. As number one, Simon Cowell carries it up the sideline. He'll be playing college lacrosse at St. Bonaventure, a Division I program. I will say, goalie Irwin standing on his head there for a minute. I mean, two great saves by the goalie. As number seven, Kyle Sager carries over. Great matchup here with Will Rude. Again, two Division I commits. And that is a goal. Number seven, Kyle Sager. Great shot, goal. Again, committed to Jacksonville. That's going to be a great matchup all day with him on Rude. Kyle Sager started as a freshman on this Victor team as well. So, testament to how good he is and how good he's gotten over the past couple years. I agree. As number 32, Mason DePew gets another run at the faceoff, and he gets that one. That's number two, Braden Giuseppe, as he carries it in. Mikey Bellis looks to settle the ball down, gets it up to number one, Sean Olvani. Olvani is committed to Wingate. On him is number 11, Cam Ryan. He will be playing college lacrosse at Syracuse University. <laughs> Great Wolves holding possession for a minute. Number three, Alex Rude carries it at the top. Alex Rude, not just a talented lacrosse player, a talented swimmer as well. Multi-sport athlete in him. Shot goes wide by number two, Brain Giuseppe. Willby carries it at X. Again, Workmeister on him. Workmeister throwing some hard jacks, really getting on Willoughby's hands. Not a great pass by Willoughby there. Just gets past Bolster. Again, willoughby has got 21 points on the season, but he has not faced anyone of the magnitude of JT Workmeister. Parker Irwin gets it over to Workmeister. Blue Devils looking to clear the ball. And Irwin looks to carry it over. Open net for the 
Oh, just missed. I mean, that's Chase. great awareness by Irwin. Nearly a goalie goal for Irwin. Great look there. Victor picks up the ball and gets ready to set up some offense. Kennedy was really got to be worried about that because if one of those go in, I can guarantee you, Coach York will not be too happy. Number 25, Brody Secker has the ball. Victor rotates it. Mismatch here. They got Kyle Sager guarded by number two, Brayden Chesefi. Gets free. Shot goes wide. Good hustle by Victor to keep the ball in their possession. Chase Canadagua comes into today's game 4-0. You can't help but give credit to the coaching staff, Chase. Head coach Devin York has a scholastic career record of 85-32. and Coach York has been the Canadagua head coach for seven years now, and he has done a phenomenal job. Number 15, Tanner Radogna carries it down. Good defense by number two, Braden oh, Giuseppe. Yeah, Good matchup here. Christian Besaw and Jude York, both going to play college lacrosse as well. Besaw going to go play at Row Rowlings, and number 15, Jude York, is going to play at BYU. He's going to go be Cougar. Victor guarded closely up top by number two, Braden Giuseppe. Passes him off to number 27, Will Rude. Guarded closely. Great save by Jackson Tucker. 31, Jackson Tucker gets it over to Glacey. Will Rude looks to clear. Long pass. Not a great pass. See what the refs say. They say it's Victor Ball. Looked like maybe a deflection there, but looks like they're going to keep it with Victor. The refs conversate. <laughs> and it's Canadigua ball. Big break for the Grey Wolves. Great call by the officiators. Ovani will carry it in. Ovani passes to number 19, Ryan Bremer, as he looks to dodge on 14. Bremer guarded by Oliver Cowell. Again, Bremer... Great look at the start of this game to get it to Mikey Bellis. Their only goal of the contest so far as Olvani dodges down on Cam Ryan. That's just great defense by Ryan, the Syracuse commit. Ball out. Great hustle by Olvani. Corralling the ground ball there. As and Bremer looks to set up a dodge at number 14, Oliver Cowell. Chase, Sean Olvani, he does a great job using his body to create offense. He's done it all year, and hopefully we get to see it some more tonight. Number one, Simon Cowell. Getting harassed right now by number five, Mikey Bellis, and number 12, Drew Willman, as he gets it over to 29, Parker Irwin. Again, another great save there on Irwin on the crease. Great pressure by Canadago on the clear. And shot just over the cage. Looks like it's going to be Victor's possession. Number seven, Sager, will bring it back in. Rude on him. Sager's already got a goal in this contest. And he looks up, and that pass goes wide. That ball looked like it went over, and it is. The refs call it over and back. Can they get the ball? Trey Camella passes the ball off to number three, Alex Rude, as he possesses the ball and looks to set up offense. Not a great pass there, and thank God for Ryan Bremer. Great He's check. Number four. Amazing check by Ryan Bremer. Bremer gets it up to Giuseppe. Giuseppe getting the pull for Victor this game, but that just opens up number three, Alex Rude. Guarded by number 15, Tanner Radogna, going both ways this game, seeing him on the offensive side as well, and that's a shot, and that goes wide. Chase, number 15, Tanner Radogna, a midi, committed to Stony Brook. Um, he also plays Sweet Lax, which is where we have seen most of his skills develop. It's awesome to see. A lot of these Victor players playing club teams, and you can tell, or playing club lacrosse, and you can tell. They have great chemistry and a great team. Workmeister throwing hard checks on Willman. Another skip pass up to Bremer. He looks to hold it. Playing catch with Alex Rue. Looking at dodge on number four, Jake Lugan. Right hand free shot just wide. Looks like Irwin got a piece of that one. Great chase by number 12, Drew Willamy to retain Canadago possession. Will we carry it back? And again, Workmeister is doing a great job on him so far, the Bryant commit. As they switch off and Mikey Bellis gets a step, hits the post. Irwin will get credit for that save, but Bellis definitely had a step on number 24, JT Workmeister. 
Number 16, Matthew Lingen. Thought he had a fast break there for a second. He pulls it out, and Victor looks to maintain possession. What are we seeing so far, Brody? What, what do you think Candy was got to do to punch another goal in? Chase, I have said it before, I'll say it again. Quick offense is the key to a winning lacrosse team. I think they've done a great job so far at getting the ball around, great ball movement, and possessing it. And if their defense keeps coming up with plays like this, it should be fun to watch, Chase. I agree. Number seven, Kyle Sager. Gets it off to Herndon. I would honestly like him to dodge because I just want to see this matchup, but... I can agree with that, Chase. 21 on two. The matchup we've all been waiting to see. Number 15, Radovna dodges down the left alley on Giuseppe. Slide comes by Jude York. Great checks by number 15, Jude York. That's great defense by 15, Jude York. Ball goes wide, Kennedy will retain possession. Will Rude looking to clear the ball. Gets it up to number two, Giuseppe. Number two, Braden Giuseppe committed to play lacrosse at Nazareth next year. Passes the ball to Caden Galassi, just a sophomore, as he handles the ball. That's a great check by number 16, Matthew Langham. Just a sophomore there, too. Chase, it's great to see these young lacrosse players playing so early. These are going to be a f this is going to be a fun matchup to watch for years to come. Good luck there by Willoughby, but tight defense by number tw four, 24, JT Workmeister. Five seconds left in the quarter. Shot. And that is the end of the first quarter of play. Thank you for listening. The, both teams will take a break, so we will as well. Score is 1-2, to two, Victor Blue Devils winning. And welcome back to Canada Eagle Lacrosse. The score is 2-1, Victor Blue Devils leading. Chase, what do you think the keys are going to be for this next half of lacrosse to see Canada Eagle come out on top? You know, Canada Eagle's just got to maintain possession. They've gotten the ball a couple times, but they just seem to get a not high percentage shot on goal, or they just throw it away. It's been a clean game so far with just one penalty called. Hopefully we can continue to see this. Love to see a nice clean game of lacrosse. I agree. As Olvani gets a touch in, Canada will look to slow the ball down and maintain possession. Number two, Giuseppe, will come on and he drops it and he'll get it back. He is guarded tightly by number 14, Oliver Cowell, sophomore, primarily in LSM, but on varsity he plays short stick D mid. He plays hockey with his brother as well. Oh, deep twig. Great check by number 16, Matthew Langham. Another sophomore on this Victor team. With Victor, you don't see a lot of sophomores with a team of their magnitude. Number one, Simon Cowell. We just mentioned his brother. He'll be carrying the ball up the field. Great pass to number 11. Cam Ryan committed to Syracuse. Looks like we got a 
Looks like they switched matchups. Maybe we see Galacy on number seven, Sager, right now, and we see Root on number two, Jack Herndon. Victor looking to just move the ball around right now, it seems. Number 25, Brody Secker will look to dodge down the alley. Secker already has a goal in this contest. Tight defense by number 23, Trey Camella, though. Screen set by number 7, Kyle Seeger. Behind the back shot by number 2, Jack Herendeen. Goes wide left of the cage. Number 23, Camello will play defense. As number 3, Alex Rude will play on Tanner Radogna again. Stony Brook, good matchup there as well. Herendeen Inch. looking to dodge on number 21, Galassi. Pick, set. Switch. Good look by number two, Jack Herendine. Scooped up by Jude York. No, scooped up by the Viper, Murphy. <laughs> Murphy will be playing at Nazareth, as well as number two, Brayden Giuseppe. Kennedy will look to clear here. They hits off the top of Giuseppe. Stick and great ground ball by number 19, Ryan Bremer. Good heads up play, Chase. That is one thing Ryan adds to this team. It is speed. And there it is again. Ken David gets the ball. Quick turnover. Caused by number 16, Matthew, Matthew Langan. For just a sophomore, that kid throws some amazing checks. I couldn't agree more, Chase. Very impressive to see the way his game is developed. Looks like number 12, Colin Wigtman, had a step down there for a second. The Dogen dodges on Camella again. Looks like that's a matchup that... Victor wants to exploit, and Whitman gets a step, and he scores. Five hole on Tucker there. Great shot by number 12. Low and in between Tuck's legs. Great attempt. Great shot. Ooh. That was a great pay by Victor Chase. That was great to see. That was That's beautiful. Yeah, you know, number 12, uh, Colin Whitman, don't, that's his first run I've seen him in so far, and that's just – exploiting what your coach has given you. You get in a run, you make it count. I couldn't agree more, Chase, and I would not be surprised if we see him more on the field today. I agree. Face-off battle again, Mason DePew. He's won a couple so far, but JT Ricky is a tough match for him, I will say. Langan, there he is again. I feel like I keep on saying his name, but, man, he is just impressive. He's just a sophomore. Sager looking to do something from X. Great, deep, great defense by number 27, Will Rude. And Will Rude throws some great checks, and he knows how to use his feet. Chase, he, he's been playing defense for the Braves for as long as I can remember. I remember playing with him many moons ago. He has been, he has been a staple of the Kandigan defense. I agree. Switch comes. Trey Camella takes up on number 25, Brody Secker. Binghamton commit, as I said earlier. Sager coming down. Victor, very efficient on offense. Constantly looking to attack the goal. Over to Brody Secker. Herndon looking to set up a dodge from the top. Great move on number 21, Don Galassi. Pick set. Gets his hands free. And, and they, they call it a save. Save by number 31, Jackson Tucker. Committed to play Cuca Lacrosse next year. Victor fans don't seem completely happy with that, thinking that it might have went in as they continue to yell. <laughs> Jackson Tucker bringing the ball up the field. Great pass to number 23, Trey Camella, who feeds it to Caden Galassi. As they get a touch in, they just got to possess the ball. I mean... Sean Olvani possesses the ball, passing it to Braden Giuseppe. Gets it to Ryan Bremer and looks to set up some more offense. Bremer already got a nice assist in this game. Let's see if he can't get some goalage of his own. Bremer looking to dodge from the 30. Makes a nice move to his left hand. Passes to Braden Giuseppe. Braden bouncing it out. Passes back to Ryan Bremer. Looking like Canada was not really going it after the goal at the moment. Or Victor's just playing fantastic defense. That's a great save by Irwin there. Kept it low to low, stayed on it. Fantastic save. 
Victor looking to clear the ball here. Move the ball up the field. Great move by number can't see that is number one Simon Cowell. Great move by him to clear the ball for the can for the Victor Blue Devils. Victor gets it in. Sager's got the ball again. Can't stress it enough. That is just two fantastic matchups down down low between Will Rude on Kyle Sager, and then he got Galassi on Herndon. Number 15, Tanner Radonga dodges on Ryan Bremer. Ball at X. Passed up top. Looking like Canadig was throwing some checks. Great defense by the Bra by the Grey Wolves. Excuse me. 21, Colin Wheeler carries the ball. He's just a sophomore. A lot of sophomores we see up here for Victor. Again. Shot, goal, number five, Aiden Klink skills. He's a senior. He'll be playing college across the Stony Brook as well. Score is 4-1, to one, Victor, 534 left in the second period. Again, Chase, as I said, Victor has just been attacking the goal, doing a great job at it, and if they keep playing like this, it could be a rough day. You got... Number 32, Mason DePew facing off for the Grey Wolves. Seems that number 10, Eli Ricky is in there again. Again, just an 8th grader. Ball scooped up by Matt Langen, sophomore LSM. Ball passed to number 11, Cam Ryan, as they look to possess the ball up the field. Victor has been very successful clearing the ball this game. As Ryan, no one's picking him up. Great save by Jackson Tucker. Kansas they would needed that if they wanted to kill some of this victory momentum. Jackson Tucker passed to Dom Galassi as the Grey Wolves clear the ball. Stanley picks it up. Good to see Stanley back on the field after being sick for a while. Indeed, Chase. Due to medical concerns, he wasn't able to play for a little while, which was so disappointing for everyone. He's a great player. He worked, he worked super hard in the offseason, and I'm glad to see him back on the field. Ball goes over the 50. Would be an over and back, but there's a flag down, and Kennedy will retain possession. And it looks like Slash, Slash there at number 10, Eli Ricky. Kennedy was got to put something together here. What is your agree? I would couldn't agree more, Chase. With 4:38 left in the second period of play, the Gray Wolves trailing one to four against the Victor Blue Devils. We have Willamy possessing the ball, getting it to GSFE and then to Rude. Kennedy was moving the ball well on this man up so far. A little pitch there. Looking to just free some room up. And that's a shot. That's a goal. Number one, Sean O'Vanny. Great shot by Sean O'Vanny. I've said it before. He knows how to use his size to create offense, and he's done a great job with it today. Big daddy, as Coach York calls him. <laughs> Sean is coming in at 6'4". That is a hard angle if you're a goalie trying to track that ball. <laughs> Sean O'Vanny, also a... Wide receiver for the Grey Wolves football team. He had a great season this last year. It was fun to watch him play. Multi-sport athlete, great kid. Love to see him being successful. This is great. A great battle at the face-off X this time. As bodies are flying everywhere, ball goes out of bounds. Let's see what the refs call, and it's Canandaigua ball. Canandaigua ball. Victor Kid picked it up, and he drops it. <laughs> And Bremer retains possession. Again, Chase, Ryan Bremer, his speed, it's not something to mess with. He knows when he dodges, he knows how to attack the cage. This and I can't wait to watch it. Is throwing vicious checks. I mean, over the head, can openers, they're doing everything. As we see Cowell here harassing Bremer. Braden Giuseppe guarded closely by number 14. Oliver Cowell, that Good is, call. and Victor has a couple sophomores and underclassmen playing on this defense. I'm excited to watch them in the upcoming years. Ball is down. 
Picked up by number 19, Ryan Dreamer, as number one, Simon Cowell, took a dive at it. Didn't quite get it. Great ground ball, Chase. Canandaigua prides himself on first-time ground balls, and that is ouch. the perfect example of it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Giuseppe just got sandwiched there. Uh, Irwin looks to clear the ball up to JT Workmeister. Canandaigua pressuring the goalie. A long pass up the field, intercepted and picked up by Andrew Murphy. See, Victor's doing that just because Kennedy was given an open net with this 10-man ride. Kennedy would cause a timeout. But if Irwin isn't going to get the ball at the cage, then there's no point in throwing it down there. I couldn't agree more, Jesus. And as we near the end of the second period, there's two minutes and 50 seconds left. The Grey Wolves trailing 2-4 to four against the Victor Blue Devils. And as... The teams take a break, we will as well. And welcome back. There is two minutes and 50 seconds left in the second period of play. Victor up 4-2 to two on Canandaigua. It's been a nail-biter so far, Chase. What do you expect to see in this upcoming second half? You know, I'm pretty sure Coach York is going to bite these kids' head off. I'm being honest. <laughs> I mean, a lot of turnovers, a lot of sloppy play on Canandaigua's part. And with all this sloppy play, it's just a 2-4 lead for – two-goal lead for um, Victor. Mm -hmm. And – Ken Davis got to feel happy about that. Indeed. Bremer looking to set up a dodge on Jake Lugan again. Lugan plays quarterback for the Victor Blue Devils. Football team. Wilmy gets a step. Oh, just misses there as he hits the turf. Great skip pass. Oh, just misses. I mean, Ken Davis was getting an opportunity. Chase, that is a hard shot from Sean Olvani. I can say firsthand, and I know you can as well, saving some of his shots in practice. It comes in fast, and I know for one, I wouldn't want to be in cage saving one of those shots. Great pass up to Brody Secker, who advances it up to try to advance it to Cam Ryan. Ball squirts out of bounds. Great check by sorry, great check for number by number five, Mikey Bellis. Can they look to clear the ball? Glacy carries. No one's coming at him at the moment. Oh. Staying on sides. He can go over, which he does. Gets it to number 19, Ryan Bremer. Kennedy would get a touch him. Looks to possess the ball with a minute 38 left in the second quarter. Wilmy gets a step on work. My turn. That's a goal. Great dodge. Great shot. Drew Willemy. That will be Drew Willemy's 22nd point of the season. If I'm not mistaken, that would be his 11th goal. It is his 13th goal. An explosive, amazing start to the season for number 12, Drew Willemy. Again, Chase, I've said it before. I'll say it again. They need to know how to stop him. I agree. Workmeister's had the best of him so far in this game. You know, Bryant commit. No slouch there for sure, but Willemy got a step there and finished. Scores three to four. Victor winning right now. Looks like a push, no call. Ball stays on the carpet, and it's picked up by number 14, Oliver Cowell. Whistle blows, timeout called by Victor. Chase, Canada were looking much more aggressive towards the cage in these last five minutes. I wonder what flip switched. I wonder what coach said to the players to get them to start attacking the cage a little bit more. But I'm loving it. I agree. Now that we're at this timeout, I think it's a great time to plug in the Canandaigua Academy girls lacrosse team. They had a big win yesterday against HFL, 15-9. to 
They resume play tomorrow at 7.30 at Webster Schrader High School. Our girls team also 4-0, I believe. You know, Canada English just got great lacrosse going. What did she say? I couldn't agree more, Chase. Both programs really playing amazing. Canada was JV team is 4-0 as well. They've played some great lacrosse. <laughs> Not to toot our own horn, because we are on the JV team. <laughs> got some Jib demons in the box at the moment. And Indeed, we yeah, do. Yeah, we are 4-0 too. Not sure about the JV girls lacrosse team. 3-0. 3 for them too. Canada won lacrosse in good hands this season. Loving to see it, Chase. And the JV girls across team is actually in a game right now. Don't have a score on that. They are playing Pell Mac. As we resume play, Victor looking to punch one in in the last minute 15 in this second quarter. Moving the ball around. New face in, number 33, Nick Leonard. That's a big man, I will say. He is going to play football at the University of Buffalo. Dodge by number 25, Brody Secker. Great Guarded by tightly by Trey Camella. Just great feet on that kid. You can tell he plays linebacker. Good cut, good catch. Just wide. See who they give the backup to. Good chase for the ball. They say Kennedy was close. Uh, yes, they did. Kennedy was closest to Victor fans' dismay. Kennedy were looking to set up a clear here. 40 seconds and running. Tom Galassi been doing a great job today passing the ball upfield, making some accurate on-point passes. Really helped the Braves clear the ball. With 30 seconds left in the half, Bremer's going to look to set up something right now for Max. Looks like Canandig was got a man up, got him off for a minute. Willoughby's got it, got the short stick here. Looks like they're going to quick slide, double coming. Willoughby's got to feel that up on his head. Gets past the ball just wide. That was a great opportunity for Willoughby there. Just missed. Six seconds coming in. Great shot by Gio Sefi, and that'll bring us to the half. Scores 4-3, Victor. And as both teams take a quick break, we will as well.
And welcome back to Canandaigua Lacrosse. I'm Brody Shar alongside Chase Willemy. And Chase, Canandaigua has just played some great defense this first half, holding Victor to only four goals. It's very impressive. You know, same goals for Victor as well, holding the Canandaigua high-powered offense to only three goals. I think as we're coming into the second half, it's a great time to give a big shout-out to number 31, Jackson Tucker, the goalie for Canandaigua. He came into this game five saves away from his 300th career save in high school lacrosse, and he is at 299 right now. So when he gets that 300th save, you best believe we're going to give him a big shout-out. Jay Tuck with four saves today, had an amazing performance in that. We love to see it. As we're getting back into action, number 10, Eli Ricky and Mason DePue getting another crack at it. Mason DePue done a great job for the Braves today, for the Gray Wolves today. Great job, great job corralling that ball, number three, Alex Rude. Olvani gets a touch in. Kennedy were making some subs, trying to possess the ball and get a good look at goal. Canandaigua bouncing it around a little bit up top, looking to set up a little more offense as it looks like we're going to get a dodge. Number three, Alex Rude coming down the left alley. Low shimmy on number four as he gets it over to Giuseppe and moves the ball to X. Number 12, Drew Willemy. Again, fantastic matchup here. Looks like he got a step for a second and great check by number 24, JT Workmeister. Olvani couldn't get to it. Ball scurries out of bounds. Great hustle by Olvani. For a big guy, he moves pretty quick with his with those long legs. It's it's good to see. We use he uses his body the perfect way. You know, Kennedy, like we said, great job holding this twitchy Victor offense to only four goals so far as they move the ball around over to number five, Aiden Kling Scales. Chase, in the first half, Victor, they really attacked the goal well, and I'm excited to see if they do it again this second half. Canandaigua's defense just needs to know how to stop them, how to stop them from being so aggressive. No, I agree. I hate to plug this now, but this could be a Section 5 championship preview if I could say so myself, as the ball is on the carpet. Great job corralling at number 33, Nick Leonard. Big Nick Leonard. Switch comes from Galassi. Ball down. Throws Leonard to the ground. Great physical lacrosse by Canandaigua. Harrington carries up. Looks for a little rollback. Great nuggy, as Coach York would call him. Good nugget by number 27, Will Root. But Victor gets the ball back. Herendine looks to dodge again on Galassi. It's like a pick coming from Sager. Herendine looks like he wants this matchup, though. And Victor dodging from X, Chase. That is something scary. You know there's going to be a big play coming when you see Victor set up from behind the cage. Galassi did a great job there, though, getting his stick on Herendine's hands, preventing the shot on goal. Good defense from Rude. Gets it up to Herendine. Great recovery from Galassi as Herendine keeps on looking to work him. Sager looks to dodge up from X. Victor running their offense through X a lot. Is there a reason for that, you think? Uh, Chase, I think with Canandaigua's defense, it's hard to do much else. X, I mean, it's they need to use their positioning on the field to set up offense, and they've done a great job so far. A little miscommunication for the Grey Wolves, it looked like for a minute, but... Great defense this possession. Great defense. As we got a big on little right here. Gets it. Secker dodges. Great save by Jackson Tucker. And there it is, Brody. That is his 300th career save. Jackson Tucker, an amazing high school lacrosse player. Looking forward to continuing his career at CUCA next year. I cannot wait to watch. He has just been astounding tonight. Herendine carries with Jude York on him, a mismatch. Even though Jude's a great player, Herendine is just next level. And Jude York, how about I eat my words? That is a great play by you, buddy. He carries it up the sideline. Timeout called by Canada Dagua. There we go. Atta boy, Jude York. Great, smart timeout by head coach Devin York. It's... 
Candidate was clock management, Chase. I have a feeling is going to come in handy later on in this game. And right there, they showed a great example of it. Knowing when to call a timeout is crucial to winning a lacrosse game. I agree as well. Um, three goals coming from the Grey Wolves so far, bro. Do you got those stats? Indeed, I do. We have Drew Willamy with one goal and one assist. Sean Alvani, number one, with one goal. Mikey Bellis with a goal. And Ryan Bremer with one assist. It's been great offense today, Chase. It's been fun to watch. Unfortunately, we don't have the face-off stats for any of the guys yet, but it looks pretty even to me. I would say so too, Chase. The little tandem between Eli Ricky and JT Ricky brothers there, forgot to mention that. Also to mention with Eli Ricky, he is, like I said, an eighth grader. He was on their varsity wrestling team as a seventh grader. Going against seniors in high school. Indeed he was, Chase. He, again, very physical kid, knows how to use his body to create plays, and he's been doing it all night. Absolutely. <laughs> We've said it already, Victor is just stacked with college athletes all going to play Division One or Two lacrosse. It is just impressive. I mean, head to toe, this lineup is just... Stacked, and they're 0-2 this year, so I don't even want to know what the teams they faced down, down in New Jersey were like. Couldn't agree more, Chase. Scary. <laughs> As Kennedy will look to set up a clear here. Done a pretty, a relatively good job so far this game clearing the ball. As Galacy carries up, Heron Dean on him. Great move, great pass, great catch. As Giuseppe gets it in and gets a touch. Another thing to add on that matchup down low between Harry, Harry and Dean and Glacey, they work out at the same gym. Indeed they do. They work... I'm, uh, I'm blanking on the name, Chase. Please excuse me. But they do. They are friends on and off the field. And it's great to see that matchup here today. Yeah. As Ryan, Ryan Bremer carries the ball and got a little hoagie at midline, getting Mikey Bellis on, full head of steam dodging down the alley. Got it free, great pass. Oh, just high. And it looks like they called it Victor's way. Victor being in the end line. Great hustle. It's a great rip by Canandaigua. They need to keep attacking the goal and keep getting their shots off. I can guarantee you Rude would want that one back. I mean, got his hands free, just sailed it wide. Great speed by Alvani to put some pressure on the clear. 14 Cobble gets a touch in down to Harrington. See if we get any more of this matchup, folks, with Heron Dean on Galassi. And other Galassi will pick up number, can't say it right now, number 25, Brody Secker. Great slide by number three, Alex Rude, a little show slide to put some pressure on the offense. Great job by Jude York this game, containing number 17, Christian Besaw. You know, this victor attack is just stacked head to toe, you know? Caden Galassi playing some good lacrosse as well. Really been using his body, his big frame, to push people out of the way and help Canandaigua's defense. That ball just sneaks out on a air pass, and Canandaigua will get possession. Galassi will show the ref the ball and look to clear. Rude carrying up the left sideline. Great pass to Brain Giuseppe. Again, we mentioned him before. Going to Nazareth to play lacrosse. Not his, not his first choice, though. He was originally committed to St. Michael's, a Division II school, and he took the flip going to Nazareth with teammate Andrew Murphy. Indeed, Chase. They will be building that team chemistry for years to come, and I can't wait to watch. Giuseppe carries the ball at around the 43-yard line. Cowell giving him a nice cushion to get some speed down the alley. A little surprised, because at the start of the game, Giuseppe did have a long pole on him, had the LSM on him. Looks like Victor made an adjustment, putting the long pole on number five, Mikey Bellis, who is at midi now. Looks like they got Marshall Bolster at the tech. As Giuseppe gets by his man, not a great pass there, but Bolster, just a freshman, picks it up there. Bolster does a great job staying on his feet, passes it off to Drew Willamy, screen set by Bolster. Couple pump fakes and a great check by Victor. Not a, not an outstanding game by Willoughby. Again, he has a nice goal, had a couple good looks at the cage, but 
Again, hasn't faced anyone of the magnitude of JT Workmeister so far. Indeed. Chase, would you argue that you're a little harder on Drew because you're, he's your brother? <laughs> I mean, some would say so, but knowing him as my brother, he is not happy with his performances. He doesn't leave that goal with 10 goals, and if that scoreboard isn't Canandaigua a lot to a little, I know he's not satisfied. That's what we like to hear, Chase. And he is out of bounds. Christian Bissau, just toe, toe on the sideline. Probably Balls. a result of Jude York playing good defense, but can they will look to clear. Again, I feel like I've said that a lot, and that is not what you want to see if you're a Canadian fan. Jay Tuck, my man, just... And, a, an unfortunate clear there for Canada Well, let's see if they can rebound here with some strong defense. Galacy, Herendy, bringing them to X. Galacy stalking them from behind. Galacy had the upper hand in this matchup so far, I will say. Takes a great approach. Again, Galacy has great feet. Gotta say, great check. Way to get the ball to the keep and set up another clear for Canada Well. I thought Herendeen was going to make me eat my words because <laughs> he did have a step on Galassi, but, you know, it was a great trail check by Galassi, and Kennedy will look to advance the ball upfield. Chase, I couldn't agree more. You know, this defense, Chase, it just doesn't look the same without Jack Tenori. He is out today injured. He has a micro tear in his quad, if I'm not mistaken. And Victor it gets a fast break opportunity, pulling it down the field, number one, Simon Cowell. Back to Cowell's shot. Great save by Jackson Tucker. That is what Kennedy would needed if that goal went in. Momentum shift. No 301 bueno. goals for Jackson Tucker. Or saves. Saves. Those two. <laughs> 301 and, saves. <laughs> and Ovani looks to settle the offense. Kennedy would doing a good job so far moving the ball around and... Looks like Kit, Mikey Bellis has a short stick, and Kennedy will looks like they want to exploit that. Yeah, Chase, that is a mistake, putting a short stick on Mikey Bellis. He'll make you pay. He will. And slide comes. Wow, he is just getting hacked on by number 15, Rodogo. Ball sneaks out. Great hustle by number one, Old Annie, to get it. Not a lot of this matchup, though. Another great matchup to watch is Syracuse commit on Wingate commit. Division one, division two. Let's see who will prevail. Sean Olvani with just one goal so far today. Looking to see more out of him in this second half. Excited to watch. Again, vicious defense by number 15, Radognan Bellis. I mean, hacking away. And that's a shot. And great hustle by Marshall Bolster. Shows the ball. No, that's just a high IQ play by just such a young player in Bolster. As I say that, he overthrows Mikey Bellis. <laughs> Again, bolster. Great back up there. Great player. Great stick. Little hiccup there. I'm sure the great I'm sure the Grey Wolves will come back. Irwin wants to set up the clear for the Blue Devils as Workmeister clears it up. Chased by Willamy. Workmeister putting on some wheels. And ah. He had a long pull matchup there on him for a minute. Kennedy would probably would have wanted to take advantage of it, but he gets it down to the attackman, and they look to set up their offense. Number 25, Caden Galassi, guarding number 12. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> number 12, Colin Whitman. Thank you, Chase. Much appreciated. Whitman has a goal on the game, too. And I'll see him as a kid that does it. Primarily get all the reps at many, but definitely takes advantage of them. Great player there in the women. As Secker gets a step. Shot. Great save by Jackson Tucker. 3 0 2. Something this half. Looks like Ken Nagel could have numbers if he corrals this ground ball, and they do. Ken Nagel has numbers. Gets it to Olvani. Olvani with a dodge. And Olvani is just getting harassed. Oh my gosh. And now Victor has numbers. Good pass, shot, goal. Number seven, Kyle Sager. His second in the game. Chase, great transition play by this Victor offense. They know how to push in transition and make those opportunities count. Absolutely. And 
Last year's matchup between these guys was 10 to 3 going in Victor's favor. The year before that, 7 to 2 in Victor's favor. But as many remember, that sectional semifinal game, Canandaigua punched them in the mouth and they got themselves a ticket to the state championship. There's number 23, Trey Camella, on the wing. Trey with still a sensitive right knee after an injury post football season. He has done a great job coming back off that injury and playing some great defense for us today. Mason the Pew gets the face off and a little shovel up to Bremer. Deep twigged, as some would say. Whistle blows, procedure, playing without your stick. Victor Ball. Gets it over to Sager. Sager again, great game so far. Two goals. Two goals, Chase. He's guarded closely by number 27, Will Rood. Two Ooh. goals for the Jacksonville commit on the Loyola commit. Um, I don't want to call it now, but I bet Will might be guarding him in college. <laughs> Chase, I could see that as a very real possibility. They're both great players. I'm sure they're going to be seeing a lot of the field when they are in college, and it's exciting to watch. As time winds down, only 15 left in the third quarter. Sager looks to set something up. Looks like a moving screen, no call. Don't know if that was a shot, pass. And it stays with Victor. Eight seconds left. Heron Dean. If I'm the Victor coach, this is the guy I want them. And great check by Dom Galacy. Scoops up the ground ball and makes an effort to get the ball up the field. Great job by Dom Galacy. And that wraps up the third period of play for us. Canada at three, Victor five. A nail biter here, folks. As the teams take a break, we will as well. All right. And we're back, coming into the fourth quarter action. Closing out that quarter, we saw Herodine, Jack Herodine, that is number two, Dodge on number 21, Don Galisi. And Herodine will be, is a four star. He's going to go play his college across at Cornell. But a couple other schools that we're looking at were Notre Dame, Maryland, Syracuse, Georgetown. Big time schools. I mean, very big time, Chase. Those. I mean, that's what you dream of. As a young kid looking to play college lacrosse, that's where you want to go. And, you know, it's just great to see him making his dreams a reality. I guarantee you, September 1st of his senior year, his phone was off at 12 a.m. <laughs> and we continue play. Mason Pew. Great first-time ground ball by number 32, and the pass goes wide, out of bounds. You know, unfortunate play there, but Mason Pew, he's done a great job in the second half winning the faceoffs. Indeed he has. And Victor will look to set up a clear. Um, sucks to see number 16, Matthew Langan. A little, little favor in that left knee. And oh. ball just wide as they shoot. Great hustle by Jackson Tucker. Who gets the ball? Canadagua ball. Great hustle by Canadagua to possess the ball. And Tucker oh. is fired up, rightfully so. Canadagua looking to clear the ball. And we got Braden Giuseppe. Braden Giuseppe, he knows how to use his body and speed to make defenders miss, as he just did right there. That he does. And look at this, number four, Jake Lugan, usually seen with the short stick in his hand playing defense. With the injury on Matthew Langan, we see Lugan with a long pull. Indeed. And number three looks to settle the ball, and Sean O'Vanny calls Cam Ryan out for a dodge, and... Cam Ryan picks his pocket. I mean, Syracuse didn't offer him for no reason. It's a great check, Chase. He knows how to use a stick. He has a great approach. He knows how to throw. He knows how to not waste momentum. 
I 10 55 in this fourth quarter. Kennedy has got to get something going. Root gets a step, slide comes. Good ball movement by the Gray Wolves. Shot. Oh, just, just, just wide. I mean, barely. Chase, one key to the fourth quarter of is CA's ability to be able to be patient with the ball, but still attack the goal. It's a hard, it's a hard thing to, it's a hard thing to do. But I really think with the team we have here and the coaching staff, and we can make it happen. That is a goal. Willoughby, getting, I mean, Willoughby's had a really rough game against JT Workmeister, and right there, three, his third point of the game, get it to Mikey Bellis, and that is Bellis' second goal of the game. Chase, that is exactly what I'm talking about, being patient on offense, looking for those good looks, and attacking the cage. That's what we like to see. Willoughby looking a little gimpy over there, limping his left knee to the looks of it. I'm sure he'll be fine. And... To the face-off X we go, 5-4, Victor winning, and at the face-off X, Mason DePew, Eli Ricky, let's get it going. And Ricky gets the ball. And that was huge for Victor. Indeed it was. Mason DePew normally able to come up with those using his big wrestling body to box people out of the way. A, if I'm not mistaken, he finished sixth? Sixth, exactly. Sixth in states this last year. Very impressive. Two sport at three sport athlete out of Mason DePew. As this game winds on, the rain just continues to beat down on these kids. You got to think that field's slippery. You got to, Chase. This is where the defense, ne this is where the offense needs to start making dodges and make defenders slip and fall. It is, you got to use the conditions to your advantage. And Great Tucker, save by Jackson Tucker. You can't make that stuff up. Tucker has been off something this half. I mean, he has been insane. And we see right here the rain playing a big factor. And all these bad passes. <laughs> I will say it's good to see Matthew Langan back on the field after that injury. Just a sophomore, been playing great this game, and I'm sure he will play great all season. Canandaigua firing the ball around quickly, looking to get numbers and set up a little fast break attack in the cage. Great check there. Great first time ground ball by number 11. Cam Ooh. Ryan. Again, haven't seen a lot of Ryan this game just because Olvini hasn't dodged on him a lot. This is true. But, again, Ryan is a lockdown defender, unfortunately, last year. Second game of the year, if I'm not mistaken. Tore his ACL. That's just not what you want. And that is a great ride by CA for CNA Victor timeout. Failure to advance, or no failure to advance, a great timeout called by Victor. That's great pressure by Canadagua right there. Yes, it was. We'll stay right with you here, uh, just because it's just such a tight game. And we will just mention some of the commits on the Victor team. As we got number 17, Christian Bisaw, he will be going to Rollins. We got Aiden Klingscale, Stony Brook, along with teammate Tanner Radogna will both be going to Stony Brook. We matched him at the start of the game. Dennis Cole, injured. He'll be going to Mercyhurst. He's a pole. He would have been starting in this game if it wasn't for his, what did he break his kneecap? Is that right, bro? He did, Chase. He broke it in two places. A tragic injury. Tragic injury. Taking him out of this season of lacrosse. Hopefully he will be back and better than ever for next season. Yeah, Dennis Cole is definitely, definitely a guy that Victor is missing out there. Um, also, we got, I mentioned him a lot, Kyle Sayer going to Jacksonville. And we... And Jack Harrington going to Cornell. And I'm sure there's a lot more commits out there and soon to come for Victor. But that is just what we got at the moment. Indeed, Chase. We've said it's we've got young players on both teams. And I'm excited to see where they end up and how they develop in these next couple of years. Chase, the rain is undoubtedly a factor for these players. It's coming down on them out there. It makes you gotta tighten your passes, you gotta make sure things are crisp. Like that right there, that's a great stick by number two, Jack Herondine. Interesting adjustment by Victor, bringing Herondine down to clear the ball. And Victor, great pass. Did a great job to the looks of it. And then Workmeister moves it over. Workmeister's got some wheels on, I will say. Indeed he does, Chase. We can't stress it enough. 
the rain is killing these players' sticks, having trouble passing. And Great defense by Canandaigua, forcing Victor out a little bit, getting ready to set up a dodge. Glacy playing on Kyle Sager. That is fantastic defense by Caden Glacy on the Jacksonville commit, forcing a bad shot, and Glacy pushes upfield. Just a sophomore, Glacy gets cooking. Pass over to Camelo. 5 4 7 49 left in the fourth quarter. Kennedy has got to get something going. I agree, Chase. They, again, I've said it. They need to attack the cage. I think they've been doing a great job at it, and if they can continue, this should be a fun last seven minutes and 34 seconds to watch. Easier said than done, though, because this Victor defense is no one to play around with. I mean, D1 commits left and right. Their short stick D middies take pride in their job. I couldn't agree more, Chase. They have some monsters on their team. And Alex Rude looks to set up a dodge on number four, Jake Langan, Lugan, excuse me. Willoughby sets a pick for him. Still working that matchup. Finally gives it up to number two, Giuseppe, as he looks to set something up on number 14, Al Oliver Cowell, who has done a great job this game, along with brother Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell was a first-team AGR hockey team player as well, one of the best players for the Victor hockey team. Canadagua, again, passes looking a little off right now due to the rain and the weather. They've done a great job fighting through it. Alex Rude switches hands, takes a shot, far left, scooped up by Drew Willeman. Rude has came a long way. I mean, from his sophomore year playing d midi to one of the most Prolific offensive players for this team. Indeed, Chase. He has just been an animal for this team. Mikey Bellis gets it over to Giuseppe, and that goes wide. Great shot. Again, Canadagua needs to keep shooting the ball. I, I love to see it. I was just about to say that. They're not cashing, but they're getting shots on. Indeed. And, and if, they we can keep, if they can keep Willamy where he needs... Box oh. over the head. <laughs> and that's a big hit by Workmeister. I Indeed. Mean, Workmeister's done a great job this game. Again, Willoughby as well, having three out of the four points for Canada Eagle. But that's just the... Willoughby is looking limping. Both Willoughby. Out, empty cage. And that is why we stress first-time ground balls. I mean, come on. Indeed. Canada Eagle. Looking to set up some offense here. We got Drew Willoughby in front of the cage. Shot goes wide left. Brody, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm going to pull my hair out. Right, Chase, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I mean, we are getting great looks, as in Canandaigua, and someone is down, is, and that's Drew Willoughby. Not the kid you want down. Absolutely not. And it gets right back up, thank God. Thank the Lord, Chase. Again, we've said it, leading the team in points. A crucial, crucial player for this Canandaigua offense. Shout out to the Victor trainer, though. He or she can't, no, can't tell from here. Ran right out there checking on Canandaigua. Indeed. Rivalry here, but great respect between the two programs. Exactly, Chase. 535 left in this fourth quarter. 5 4 game. Victor is leading. Great Sean, game. Sean Olvani, Big Daddy, looks like he's going to dodge from X on number 11. He switches hands and shot goes far right, chased out of bounds very quickly by number one. Simon Cowell. Again, Olvani got a step on. Olvani got a step on Cam Ryan there. His first good look of the game, I'd say, one-on-one um, -on -one with Ryan. That's a matchup that we keyed in on. And Again, Victor trying to clear, but Canandaigua has done an outstanding job riding them today. Cowell looks to clear, and Ooh. he boom sticks and jumps over it. What's the call? And they say it's Victor Ball. Don't know that call. Don't know if it was right, but we're going to go with it. Yeah, and Chase, as, as much as the fans are yelling and cursing at the moment, it's <laughs> you got to respect the officials, man. They're never the good guy. Absolutely. <laughs> And Sager touches it in. Victor, what did she say that they just got to slow the ball down if they want to win this game? I couldn't agree. Chase, again, both. It's, it's a simple formula. You got to slow the ball down and take the shots that you get. 
Absolutely agree. Cannot cannot be hesitant to attack the cage. With that being said, it's a it's a perfect storm, Chase, between being patient and attacking and being aggressive. And I think both teams have done a great job with that tonight. Again, Victor looking to get their first win on the season. Canandaigua looking to advance 5-0 and as number 25 Brody Secker gets his hands free. Left hand, shot, goal! That it was a great shot by number 25 Brody Secker. Making him pay for not putting the pole on him. Great bounce shot, Chase. The hardest shot to save in lacrosse. Man, a great decision there to put that one on the ground. Goal is six, score is 6-4. Victor, there's 4.06 left in the fourth quarter, and getting this first faceoff of the night, number 24, Peyton Fritz, just the freshman. Fritzy coming in the game. What's his faceoff percentage? Fritzy's faceoff percentage. It has been, it is looking good, Chase. I think he is around 42% on faceoffs. Very impressive for his young age. Great GB by Matty Langan, and he goes to cage. Never mind, he pulls it out, and just avoiding the ref is number seven, Kyle Sager. 350 left in this fourth quarter. Kennedy was gotta gotta start pressure now. Losing by two, gotta get something going. Chase, if I'm Victor here, I just want to slow the ball down and sit on it for a little bit. You got the lead. You got two goal cushion. I will say one thing. That is not what you want to do. That is not at all. That was great defense by Canadagua. Great ride on the. Great uh, check on who was that, Chase? That was Jude York. Jude York. My gotta man, love Jude York. BYU commit. Great player. Greater person. Greater he was. Greater. <laughs> and Bremer gets the ball. Matt oh. Langan on him. Little shimmy on him. Over to Alex Root. Gets his hands free. Shot. Great save by Parker Irwin. Again. There we go. I Good. Know, I don't know how many saves that is for him, but he's done a great job this game. Home Kennedy with four goals. Cowell brings it up the left side looking to clear. And he hits number, can't really see his number, but. Chase, we're nearing the end of this matchup, unfortunately, with two minutes and 52 seconds left in the fourth period of play. Again, the, the Gray Wolves trailing four to six to the Gray Wolves. We are, there's two minutes and 50 seconds left, Chase. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Victor Blue Devils. Chase. With this short time left, what is going to be the key to Canandaigua's offense? Canandaigua's just got to go to goal. You know, find a short stick matchup, find a favorable matchup, and exploit it. You know, Giuseppe on Cowell here. Cowell's faking an overhead check. Out, and he throws it, and he gets past him, and that's a goal. That's exactly what they needed. Number two, Brayden Giuseppe. Great stick by Brayden Giuseppe. Fake high, shoot low. We love to see it. Does it seem like... Number one, Simon Cowell is too happy about that one. It is now five to six. Victor Blue Devils winning by one goal here late in the fourth. I mean, St. Bonaventure commit was really giving him the works there. Faking an overhead, finally went with it. Giuseppe tucked his stick and sent that ball home. <sighs> Chase, that is good lacrosse, as Coach York would say. 229 left, five six. Victor still leading. Peyton Fritz getting the face off. Fritz, as we like to call him, everyone in the stadium is on their feet. Chase, we need to see some quick offense here from Canandaigua. Punch the ball in and make the possessions count. Great face off by number 24, Peyton Fritz. A little pitch pot party, am I right? How Couldn't have said it better know? myself, Chase. Canandaigua, looks like they got a touch. They did. Bremer looking to settle down. Actually, he's going right at him, number 14. Oliver Cowell looks like he's going to rope him down to the X. Again, Chase, Canandaigua running most of their offense through X today, and it has seemed to work. Chase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Overpass to Giuseppe. Ma Matt Langan, again, sophomore. Fantastic player going for that rusty gate check. Oh, great chicken wing by Big Daddy Sean Olvani. Looking to shoot the ball, gets a nice pass off to number 19, Ryan Bremer. Bremer fakes a shot, brings it back out, getting hacked on. Shot, goal! It goes in! We are tied up here at Canandaigua. Goal, number 19, Ryan Bremer. What a shot! Six to six. Didn't look like he had much daylight there, but just stuck it by goalie Parker Irwin. Chase, the energy in this stadium right now is booming. I got goosebumps, and I'm not kidding. Oh my gosh, is this a game? 
Fans got what fans got their money's worth, that's for sure. Peyton Fritz again taking the faceoffs late in crunch time of this game. Peyton Fritz done an amazing job really fueling Canandaigua's momentum right now. Said it once before and I'll say it again. This probably isn't the, the last time these two teams are going to see each other. As Matt Langan gets the ground ball, killing the Canandaigua momentum. Well, Chase, forget what I said before. You can't kill the clock anymore. Those two goals have just been answered, and now Victor needs a goal. Two quick goals by Canandaigua. Gets the stadium rocking. The booth we're in right now is shaking. <laughs> you know, everyone is on their feet, holding their breath. Herendine, Glacy, this is the matchup that we wanted to see the game end with. Looks like Herendine's just surveying at the moment. No definite path of direction. Come Still on. nothing. Faking passes, know. cutters coming in. Candidate were doing a great job. Galacy gets on his hands. Shot from deep out, just wide. Chased by number seven, Kyle Seeger. Great hustle by the Blue Devils. You can hear a pin drop in this stadium. It is silent. Great defense. Double comes, but Sager gets past. Great save by number 31, Jackson Tucker. Balls down. Scooped up by Kyle Seeger. Timeout called by the Blue Devils. And we are going to stay right here with you. Canandaigua bench is fired up. 26 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Oh my gosh. If you are just joining us now, which I would be pretty sad if you were, because this game is insane. It is 6-6. Six to six. Victor will have possession. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Chase, this has been a nail biter. It has been so fun to watch, and I am just blessed to be able to be here commentating with you. Absolutely. You know, what do you think Victor has to do to sneak a ball past Tucker in his final seconds? Chase, if there was an easy answer to that, they would have been doing it all night. Jackson Tucker, a great player, a great goalie. He has, just has quick reflexes, great eyesight. Man, I wouldn't know what to do. I think I would feed, we've been saying his name all night, Jack Herendine. Committed to Cornell, great player, great stick. Again, with that being said, feeding Herendine comes with the price of Galassi on him. And Don Galassi has been on him all night, holding Herendine to, I believe, zero points that we know of. And that's a tall task for Galassi. Only a win game commit, I say only, but that's a great school to be committed to. And he's locking, I want to say locking now, but he is giving the works to a four-star Cornell commit. Hats off to Galassi. Great performance by him today. Can't wait to see him develop later on in this season. Another great performance by number seven on Victor, Kyle Sager. He has two goals of his own. Really brought some life into the Victor sideline. Chase, I'm excited to see. I wonder, can you think Victor can punch this in, or are we going to be here for a little extra time in overtime? You know, I don't care who scores. I want this ball. To, I want this game to go into overtime. I am having a blast here calling this game with you, and I never want it to end. I Chase, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> and here it is. Here's our matchup. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. We got Galassi on Herendine. Galassi stalking. We'll see if Herendine chooses to make a move, and he'll go up the right alley. Glacy all over his hands. All over his hands. Continues to just eat him up. Pass inside, and it goes wide. Canandaigua forces the turnover. Three seconds left. Let's see if they can pinch out a miracle. One second, shot. Oh. Little, and we're into overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an ecstatic game here today so much fun to watch so much fun to commentate as both teams take a break we will as well see you soon
And here we are, overtime game of the year potential in this section. And as we come into overtime, we'll explain the rules. It is four minutes. Each team gets one timeout, and it is sudden death. First, the score takes this one home. And I don't know. If Canandaigua wins, Victor, they got to hold their head high. They came in here, gave Canandaigua all they could have. Same the other way. If Victor wins, Canandaigua's got to be happy, excited to see him again. Chase, I'd say the face-off right here. This is a crucial face-off right here. Get the first possession and punch the ball into the net. Number six, JT Ricky, going up there. Looks like he's about to explode. Looking very anxious, and he does just that. He gets the face up, and the ball squirts out. As we mentioned, whistle blows, procedure, and it's Victor Ball. Number 14, Oliver Cowell is celebrating like they won the game. A lot of confusion here. Canadigua fans yelling. Victor fans cheering. Chase, a lot of commotion here tonight. This has been the matchup of the week. I've been excited for... I would argue this could be one of the matchups of the year. I mean, this is just must-see TV. I couldn't agree more, Chase. As 25, Brody Secker moves it over to Aiden Klink's scales and... I wonder if they're going to go back to that Harry Dean matchup. Galassi won it going into overtime. But it looks like they're going to take Sager at the top with Will Rude. Loyola on Jacksonville. The matchup to watch. Gets it over to Radogna. The Stony Brook commit. Great defense by number 23, Trey Camella. Chase, I'm on the edge of my seat. I can't wait to see how this one ends. Dom Galassi, number 21, guarding Jack Heron Dean again from X. Herodine. Dodges right. Spins back left, and he's on the floor. Gets up quickly. Checks thrown by, Kamel, by uh, Galassi. Ball, ball passed off. In front of the cage. Oh, he shoots, he goal. scores. Brody Secker's third game. Hat trick for Brody Secker. And that is a heartbreaking loss for Canandaigua. But, you know, a great effort by both teams here today. Great play by Brody Secker. A hat trick is... Not something to take lightly. He played a great game of lacrosse today. Both teams played amazing. That, Chase, is fun lacrosse. As a candidate with Faithful, I will say this one thing. Yep. If you remember two years ago when Canandaigua lost to Victor, what happened? They came back in sectionals and they knocked him right out. So that's going to be must-see TV in sectionals, and I can't wait to see it. Neither can I, Chase. Final score, Victor Blue Devils 7, Canandaigua Grey Wolf 6. In one overtime, it has been so much fun to watch. I'm Brody Shar here alongside Chase Willemy. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next time.